Ah, good idea, also. Let's test this amplifier. The uh, solder bridge card of that socket that was on it. It's a vertical top socket. I had a 45 degree mounted socket. So it's not going to fit this bloody board and this receiver, uh, this amp, unfortunately. It's a bit of a bug. I'll try and find some stuff to play in here. Play back one, one of my own videos on here to show you the sound difference. It probably can't tell by much, but yeah. Hard to tell. Let's give it a test on the video. Funny because the light doesn't always work if the power socket's not plugged in properly, yet the amp doesn't drop out of power. It's odd. It's nice to get some all those colour charging LEDs, so I could use them in all sorts of applications. <laughs> anyway, let's get this uh, thing tested. I watched one of my own videos just as a test. Ah, I can have yours up. The uh, old Firefall Commodore Blue, it's in tape by the file gaskets. See, one of the things is completely blocked up. Wow, look at that. How the hell? See that? That was a block to Hard to tell, this seems more effective, more responsive than yeah. if I put quality capacitors in the place of the cheap ones. This is all broken down. I don't know, it's hard to form. This is replacing the cheap capacitors are quality ones. It's a bit better performance on the adjustments here. Uh, engine start and run cycles. <laughs> this is the Achilles Hill of the Ecotech engine. This is just on. That's loud as it goes. Loud as it goes. 212,000 case. It's the first set. So. The ones in the UK only got 150,000 out of them. Now, if I can get another chip, the same part number as what's in here, I could probably upgrade it to a 10 watt version of the exact same chip. Yeah, before I chip. So, yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. Wouldn't, be, um, wouldn't hurt trying. Find a chip that's the same, exact same pin out, but more powerful, and make this thing more powerful. <laughs> Come on, peak music power output of 100 watt, it's only a 5 watt um, integrated circuit. You like to make it 5, watt, watt, 5 watts out of it. That's from a small TV, the, the uh, amplifier chip there. Small, um, yeah, TVs. So, yeah, nothing like 100 watts out of that. Well, in the case of my unit, I only had the water in the oil, but everything else is fine. I didn't have the heat of anything. Yeah. Extra still. Modifying it is always. Uh, a good say, idea. Yeah. Can make it better, this thing. I find the you know what is cheap, but you can make it better. So, yeah. What, yeah, if I can, got, what have I got in the stash? I think I've got a similar, um, similar integrated circuit, but it's a 14 pin version, need an 11 pin version to suit the circuit board in here. So the, the whole circuit is designed for the 11 pin version. So. I'll look at some other TV boards I've got, see if I've got one there before I look at buying one cheaply. There was a 7, and seven watt as, as one as well, but yeah, it's just if it's possible if you can get a hold of a 10 watt one to put in here. As a precaution anyway, even if you haven't got duck butter. Um, These speakers don't so help this either. Was actually, uh, quite, was it? 10 watts, so. It was a quarter cool of that. It's just been given at 5 so watts. The dad used it. And out of here. Oh, hang on, I just um, noticed something. There's an insert. These voice calls are in series, not parallel here, like I originally thought. Out of here. These are in just series. Ah, look at that, eh? I didn't know. Uh, These are in series. So I've got a positive here, voice in coil. In the intake. And that's going to positive, and it's going to fit out coil. Back to positive. And these are both in series, not parallel. Ah. You can actually see the voice call sticking out of these speakers too. You look carefully inside there. A bit dark on the camera, but I can see. Let's see. The calls look like they're in good nick. You can see the voice calls. Quite of interesting. Blew the holes in there too. It's kind of pointless having a suspension all the way up there. It's not even stopping dust getting the voice calls. Yeah, well, these aren't dust uh, sealed speakers at all. Have Quite the unique though. They don't sound yeah. the best, but it's best to they're kind of unique. They still feel pretty rubbery, but pretty cool. Yeah, it's best anyway, new owings that way you think. As for the car, well, the car's going good. We've got a place to uh, ignition leads in that. She's running beautifully.
had buggered initially as it was misfiring like crazy. And it was overheating, so we did some pressure tests. Um, everything is so far so good. I think we have, we've got a water pump, water pump issue. We can't send it from what's causing it to overheat. It's not so bad now, we were flushed it a couple of times, but yeah. Got the test, did some tests on it and confirmed there's nothing wrong with the motor. Everything's clean, so I think the problem could be the water pump not keeping up. So I reckon one of the impellers or something, the fins of the impeller and the water pump could be half partially corroded away. Got bloody into off it now, where was I? See, yeah, but we're going to look at that. Got to change the water pump with it, and that should fix it because I've already changed everything else. New hoses, the radiator has been changed before. Uh, new thermostat, and we did all that. New gasket, and everything. So, um, yeah, we just checked the water pump because that idling doesn't seem to uh, have symptoms we're getting, and doesn't seem to be pushing the water through the radiator quick enough. There's not much change in the temperature between the radiator and the engine block, but when you bev it with a test, pressure test on it. It actually drops down in pressure quite considerably as the water's moving around when you're revving it. But when the engine's idle, idle idling, the um, water pump does not seem to be keeping up with the flow of water to cool the engine down efficiently enough. So we suspect that's what it is. The water pump impellers are half uh, pretty much non-existent. I wouldn't say not completely. It's still working all right, just um, not very efficiently. So other than that. Which is all uh, up to spec, all fixed up. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.